let's take a look at this in the editor. In this program, we want to write a program that moves Tracy to where the mouse was last clicked and prints the number of times the user has clicked to the console. Let's write out the program step by step so we can remember what must be included in order for these programs to work. First, we start by saving the screen inside a variable. I'll call my variable canvas and set it equal to the get screen function. Then I need to call the onClick method on that variable. So I'll write canvas.onClick and I'll name my callback function move to click. Now let's define that function. Above these commands, I'll define the function. It's important the definition comes before the other commands because Python will look above the command to find the callback function to perform. I'll write def move to click, and I need to make sure to include x and y as my parameters. The command I want to perform when the user clicks the canvas is to move to that location. So I'll add go to x comma y. And let's see how that works. Great. Now let's add in our count variable. In order to do this, I need to initialize the variable after calling my onClick function. So at the bottom, I'll write count equals zero. Then inside the function, I want to add one to the count variable each time the user clicks. So I'll write count equals count plus one. And then I want to print the value in the console. So I'll add print count. Let's see how that works. Darn, my program's working fine, but nothing's being printed in the console. Oh, I forgot I need to use the variable I saved the screen in with the variable. So let's add canvas dot to anywhere I'm calling the count variable. Awesome, it works great. I see my count at the bottom in my console. Now it's your turn to apply some clickable interaction in your Tracy programs. 